Without a doubt, we are a plastic planet. Humans produce around 400 million tons of plastic every year. That's close to the total weight of the entire global population. And the thing is, not all of it ends up in the dumpsters. Some of it ends up in our bodies. On average, each person worldwide ingests 5 grams of plastic every week. Well, health experts warn that regular exposure to microplastics, for example, from plastic utensils, can lead to long-term health issues such as hormonal imbalances or a weakened immune system. But the hot pot is delicious. So what are we going to do? For years, we are looking for a new material to replace plastics. And today, we're going to dive into alternative solution with a distinct Chinese touch. And that solution is bamboo. Yes, the plant that giant pandas feast upon every day. Bamboo can be made into all kinds of daily necessities, like these drinking straws. But how difficult is it to transform this giant plant into something we can hold? I went to find out. This is the largest bamboo straw processing factory in the world. Here, big bamboo chunks get chopped up and shaped into perfectly sized sticks. Whether they will be made into a straw, a stick for barbecue, or for ice cream is decided right here. This is the material for making straws. I can make as many as four cars like this, and each cart contains 100 bundles. The production of bamboo straws requires no chemicals, and they do not release harmful elements like microplastics during usage. Mmm, fresh! The trickiest part to turn the solid sticks into hollow drinking straws is stashed away inside these boxes. Here, they are drilled from two ends, and to increase efficiency, the process is conducted on a rotating machine. So, how challenging it is to drill through a bamboo stick like this? The first challenge is to keep the bamboo sticks as straight as possible for draining. Mm -hmm. Because bamboo drinking straws is made of bamboo sticks processed from bamboo cone wall. The out part of bamboo cone wall contains much more fiber cells than the inner part. As you can see from this image, this will cause different shrinkage between them. That's why bamboo sticks are prone to bend. Now we use high temperature steam to treat them to improve their dimensional stability. While heated steam help the bamboo stay straight, the high temperatures generated during the drilling process, on the other hand, are less than desirable. So we use air blow technology with cold air mm -hmm. to reduce heat and blow out bamboo dust quickly. Of course, bamboo is not the only eco-friendly straw materials out there. These are called PLA straws. They are made from starch and are popular alternative to plastic in many countries. But there is a catch. While PLA straws are often marketed as green, they are not as biodegradable as many believe. PLA requires industrial composting at high temperature, but for bamboo, it can be decomposed literally in soil within months. China produces nearly 1 billion bamboo straws annually, but compared to the 46 billion plastic straws manufactured in the country, bamboo straws still need a long way to go, improving their competitiveness. Well, bamboo can be used not only for something small, but something this big. Well, no, this cooling tower is not made of bamboo. It's about what's inside. Little did I know that I was stepping inside a mystical realm. Whoa, this is incredible. I've never been in a place like this before. Wow, this place is enormous. And look. Wow. 
These are bamboo sticks in their natural form, nestled inside this industrial monster of a cooling tower. What are they doing here? These bamboo sticks are arranged in grids. Their naturally curved surfaces slow down the flow of hot water through them, enhancing the water's contact with air and thereby accelerating the cooling process. The steam generated from the process easily soaks everything inside the tower in just minutes. Previously, most cooling towers used plastic fillers, which was less effective at cooling and had a shorter lifespan compared to bamboo grids. Switching to bamboo reduced maintenance costs. Moreover, plastic releases carbon dioxide, whereas bamboo absorbs it, significantly easing the pressure on our company to meet environmental standards. I visited the factory where these bamboo grids are manufactured. The raw bamboo sticks are first cut into sections, then moved to the assembly line where they are further broken down into 4 to 10 pieces. These pieces are trimmed to the desired thickness. Holes are punctured to facilitate easy assembly into grids later on. And finally, they are packaged and prepared for shipment. Over time, people discovered that these bamboo grids are surprisingly heat-resistant and waterproof, both excellent qualities for their role, on top of being environmentally friendly, of course. This assembly line has been chugging along for nearly two decades. The owner, Mr. Liu, shared that he's investing over 2 million US dollars to upgrade to a more automated process next year. Over 70% of power plants globally still use plastic packing, and China's shift to bamboo is just starting. While adoption is currently limited to small private plants, government support is driving large power companies to promote it. A vast market is opening. Mr. Liu led me to the source of his raw materials. Wow, this is beautiful. A bamboo forest located not far from his factory. Here, I asked him if he thinks bamboo can truly hold its own against mainstream packing materials like plastic, ceramic, and metal. Stainless steel and ceramic packing materials are priced at around 2,000 RMB per cubic meter on the market, while our bamboo grid fills are priced at around 600. The bamboo packing market is still relatively small, and Liu is taking a significant risk by investing heavily to expand his business. However, he seems confident that it has the potential to succeed. China is the world's largest exporter of bamboo products, and it continues to discover new ways to utilize bamboo. Look, everything goes well with my outfit today. Now, the question is, who came up with these ideas? We did. This is one of China's top bamboo experts. His office building in China's capital, Beijing, is filled with researchers in this area. Since 2022, China has invested around 7 million US dollars in research focused on replacing plastic with bamboo products. They are carrying China's big eco dreams. Our goal is to develop new technologies, products, and ideas about bamboo. We also want to raise the awareness about protecting the environment and managing bamboo forests responsibly. With more countries introducing plastic bans and supporting environmentally friendly policies, the global demand of bamboo products is growing fast. In 2022, China's bamboo trade topped 2.7 billion US dollars. So far, we have already sold over 1 billion bamboo straws and we got lots of good feedback from our consumers. And collaboration is also thriving within the academic community. 
We have collaborated with universities and countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, signing over 20 agreements. From the lush bamboo forest to global collaboration, the Incheon plant is regaining spotlight on the world stage. Many expect it to contribute to a sustainable future, proving it can be so much more than just panda food.